from KETK, you're watching East Texas Live. Well, all this month, we're going to be introducing you to nonprofit organizations participating in East Texas Giving Day. And joining us now is Paula from Finn's Friends out of Gregg County. First of all, good morning. Thank you for coming on. Good morning to you, too. Thank you for having me. All right, no problem. So let's we'll start with a kind of a brief overview, okay. overview here. Tell us about your organization. Okay, so Finn's Friends was created in 2020 um, in response to our son, Finn, being diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. It was a rare, um, it is a rare and fatal muscle disease. Mm -hmm. um, um, that is genetic and um, over time Finn will lose the ability to use his arms and legs and most of his uh, muscle and motor function. So we started Finn's Friends um, in the year of COVID. We had a golf tournament mm -hmm. uh, that proved to be very successful and so we've just kept building on that to raise awareness for Finn's Friends in East Texas as well as provide uh, mobility equipment and assistance to um, other families who have Duchenne. All right, so there you go. Definitely a really important organization here in the community. So for Giving Day, uh, what will the money be kind of going towards this year? Okay, so we have a family assistance program. After meeting um, a bunch of the families um, in the Duchenne community, we realized there was a huge lack of funding for uh, mobility equipment, uh, service vans, trips to um, doctor's appointments, service mm -hmm. dogs, that type of thing. So all the money that we will be raising for East Texas Giving Day will go for that uh, assistance program okay. um, so that we can continue to help the families um, in you know, the Duchenne community. All right, so there you go. Great organization to donate to. So do you guys have a goal you'd like to hit this year for Giving Day? Um, we don't. This is actually our very first year, and so we are just hoping um, to get as many donations as possible. We actually have an event that we are actually hosting on uh, Giving Day mm -hmm. at Coffee and Tea's Coffee Shop. We're opening up our doors. Our office is in there, and we are providing lunch, breakfast, um, and appetizers all day long to celebrate our community for also being so giving to us. Uh, there will be opportunities to donate QR codes mm -hmm. um, placed around so it makes it easier. All right, and where at that event you guys are hosting, where would that be held? It's going to be at Coffees and Teas uh, Coffee Shop on Glencrest uh, Lane in Longview, Texas. All right, perfect. So if uh, someone's interested in learning more about your organization, where can they find out more information? So we have a website. It's called FinnsFriends.net. And so um, we have a lot of information on there about our organization as well as our family assistance um, program and mm -hmm. all other events that are coming. We have a golf tournament coming up, a pickleball tournament coming up mm -hmm. actually in May. Um, right. And so all our information is on there. All right, perfect. Yeah, so great organization to donate uh, for East Texas Giving Day or pretty much any time of the year, of course. Um, before I let you go, anything else you'd like to add about your organization or anything you guys are doing for Giving Day? No, I think that's covered it. We just look forward to seeing everyone. If you can come out, um, learn more about our organization and allowing us to meet some new East Texas faces. All right, perfect. Well, thank you for coming on this morning. We'll have more news and weather for you after the break.